Okay, so I'm back. I wanted to do a video on how to wash your bottles and flanges and all your little bits and pieces. Um, in a previous video I said I use the even flow pump when I'm at home. So you can use just regular even flow bottles for those. But basically, I disassemble my pump. I take the bottles off. I take the caps off. Once you take the caps off, this comes out. And these are the flanges, um, or the drip spouts for the even flow pump. These are really difficult to clean. There's little crevices in there, but what I do is I take the blue piece and I pop it off. It makes it a little bit easier to clean. So, Charlie, get out of the dog water. Take your pieces off, because you will collect milk and stuff in there, and it's kind of gross. Hey, no ma'am. No ma'am. Take the blue piece off. Sorry. Okay, so once you have your bottles and everything disassembled, um, so I have everything laid out on my drying rack. Um, what I do is, I don't use special soap. I use just an antibacterial soap. So I turn on my water. Bottle brush with a bottom that comes out for small parts. I let my, bru my brush put some soap on there. I put a little bit of water in my bottles. I don't go crazy when I scrub them. You don't need to go super crazy. But Basically, this is a clean, this is a dirty one. I wash them every day, every time I use them. Charlie, get out of the laundry basket. This Charlie is in everything. So wash it, rinse it. I leave them on my bottle rack for the bottles to dry. Next is your shield. I kind of just go in a circular motion on the outside. And then I can slip the whole entire brush into there. And I just leave these on my drying rack. But that's a dirty one, and that's a clean one. So you can kind of see the hue on this one, and this one does not have that hue anymore. Next is these little cups. Same as a bottle. Just clean it out. these. I just scrub. There's no way to really get into that little hose part. So I just scrub it and let water run through. I'm trying not to get like soap all over the place. So that's the explanation for my piece. These pieces are a pain. So I start here. We get on the inside. This this will get all the way there and then it stops. 
so this part is not getting clean. But once you start there, you rinse. And then I switch to this end. I try to get in there as much as possible. So that's where this piece comes in. I will take this piece and scrub all of this and try and get down into that little hole there. They're not going to come perfectly clean. They're not ever going to look brand new. So you got to pick your battles. This side. You just got to try and get in there, get around everything. into the hole where your drip spout, your milk comes through, and then just rinse. So this is a dirty one. It's got all that milk build up that is dried from my morning pump already. And this is a clean one. So there's no milk build up. And get it, you know, as best you could. The only thing I think of is I, I hear people that don't clean their pumps every single day um, or after every pump. And you gotta think, imagine taking a cup of milk that you drink um, and you wait four hours and you have all that dried up milk on the bottom of your cup and then you just fill it back up and drink again. That's basically what I think of when I'm pumping for my son. Is he's getting all that dried up milk that's now being pulled into the freshly pumped milk. He probably doesn't like it. I wouldn't like it. So I clean after every pump because it just makes sense to me. I wouldn't drink out of a dirty cup all day. But to each their own, if you don't clean your pump every time, it's your prerogative. And then we rinse it. And now there's very minimal milk build up in there. Like I said, you're not going to get them brand new, but do your best to get as much as you can. Now, the flanges are the dirtiest things on a pump. They, they color so much. So, I kind of take it and I scrub it with the big end. I'm getting soap everywhere. And then I take my little guy and I get inside. And then I scrub the outside. And this is right where that blue, blue piece sticks into. So the milk really builds up right here because it gets in between there and the blue piece. So, you just gotta do your best. It's really difficult to get these, these parts clean. This is a clean, no milk buildup anymore, and this is a dirty, lots of milk buildup. Now we're going to clean this one. Going to get on the inside. They do sell kits, um, bottle brush kits for cleaning pump parts. Um, with sprays and little tiny brushes. My bottle brush does just fine. You just gotta work a little bit harder to get it clean. Clean the outside. So 
So now that is a clean, no milk build up. This is what I like. Now, these little blue pieces. I take a plate and I clog my drain. In case I drop it, it doesn't go down my drain. And I just lay it in my hand and I just spin my brush over it. And then I kind of just work it with my fingers. These come clean really easily. So now that's perfectly, see, dropping it like that. Perfectly clean, nice and see through, nice and shiny. And this one, kiwi, no residue. So, i to roll it in my hand, and then hand clean it. They do have sanitizer bags too that you can put the, all of your pump parts in a bag. I think Medela sells them. And you can sanitize them in your microwave. I thought about purchasing them, but I haven't yet. So now that is clean. Now drying. I never used to dry them. I just started because I've seen that there's a lot of water spots and things like that. I just take paper towel and the same way I washed it. I get on the insides and this helps get any leftover milk that might be in there. And I just kind of try and shove the paper towel in there to dry them. And then I leave them on my drying rack to dry the rest of the way. or my drip spouts. I just try and get most of the water off of them. I don't completely dry anything. I just try to get most of the water off. Partly too because I don't like putting these shields on and then they're wet because they won't dry by the time you need your next pump. And these suction cups, um, these will create water residue through your hoses. And that's why a lot of people's hoses go bad is because of um, moisture. So these I always dry as much as possible so that I don't get that water residue sucking through the hoses. Same with these. I try to just shake the water out. I am so sorry for all of the ugly faces. Okay. So then I kind of just lay it out on my drying rack. And then that way, for my next pump, I have everything here ready to assemble and put back together for my pump. Um, it's the same process for my bottles. My son only uses these bottles. They're the Nook anti-colic bottles. I remove the nipple, fill it up with a little bit of water. And I kind of go in just a circular motion with it. So now you have a clean bottle you can see through. And then you have a Huey bottle. I don't think a lot of people realize that breast milk leaves a film. Um, and it's almost like a I think of it like a rotting milk. I don't like it. So I scrub all of my bottles and the nipples, everything. And I'm kind of rewetting all of my other parts. 
to spell it up with water. Circular motion. Rinse. Clean bottle. But that's basically it. I'm soaked. Um, that's how I clean my pump parts. Um, hopefully that helped anybody that had any questions about how to clean your pump parts. Um, and then I can show you how to assemble it again. I don't know. So you take your cups, stick them up top, take your cap, lock it on. Then take your blue flange pieces, stick them in, flange pieces, drip spouts. Bless you, baby. Connect it there. Shield. Push that on. And now you have with a piece of my hair. A clean assembled pump ready to go for your next one. So again, cup, cap, drip spout. Drip spout flap back into your pump and shield, and you're ready to go. It's so fast, it's so easy. Just clean them. Trust me, your pump will last longer. You get better milk supply. So, thanks for watching, and subscribe if you're not already and um, hit the bell for alerts. I do a lot of mom videos, pumping, bottles, bagging, um, everyday life of having three kids. So thank you for watching, bye.